All right, yo, what is going on everybody? Welcome to Self Made, I'm Cole Joseph. In this video, we're talking about none other than XRP, Ripple's XRP, the XRP ledger, the legend in the making, as you could say. XRP is literally in the category of going to dent the universe when it comes to the cryptocurrency breaking. So you know what I mean? So it's like as high as it gets. It's like all the way up there with Quant, Q and T, which if you don't know what Quant is, check out my channel. Oh, and everybody watching my channel, if you guys like these crypto videos that I keep putting out, definitely make sure to leave a like on the video. It helps out a lot. So XRP is going to be the bank to bank transfer network. Basically what Swift is doing right now, we're hoping that Swift is going to adopt XRP you know, kind of adopt the XRP ledger into their system and just kind of like update their system with the XRP ledger. Uh, but maybe they might replace Swift altogether. It looks more like the option number one than number two. The connections that XRP is making right now, the connections, the partnerships, the hiring that they're doing, they're hiring in the bottom of the bear market. When the cryptocurrency that you are invested in is growing in a bear market and hiring people, not hiring people and going bankrupt, that's a good sign, okay? To give you guys a little look at what's going on in the market right now, it's currently Monday, August 22nd, 2022 at 2 p.m. And this is where the market looks like right now. This is the daily chart for XRP. And uh, yeah, we are sitting pretty low compared to all time highs, which is, this is nothing new. We've been down here for a while, but we are in the bottom of a bear market. And Ripple is still building and hiring more and more people, making more connections. This is such a bullish sign. Now this does kind of look like we have a little bit of a bear flag going right here, as you can see bear flag. I personally think that we're going to have another drop here pretty soon. I don't know where or how low it's going to go, but I think we are going to go down a little bit more from here. Currently XRP is sitting at 33 cents. Don't freak out if you're thinking about buying XRP and I just said that I think it's going to go lower. It's a good thing. The lower it goes, the more we buy. Okay. Buy as it goes down lower because when it goes back up, you're going to make a lot of money. Okay. You understand? Now I'm not a financial advisor, so you know, make your own educated decisions when it comes to investing your money. Do your own research, do your own due diligence in the projects we're talking about. But XRP is something you do not want to miss out on because it's part, it's ISO 222 compliant, which if you don't know what that is, but it's basically the messaging system that banks use to communicate back and forth and they all have to be compliant with each other so they can all you know move money between each other. And obviously being the bank to bank network, XRP is compliant. And it is, and it is on the ISO 222 compliant list. XLM, HBAR, IOTA, XTC, XRP right there, I'll go and quant. I probably sound like a broken record when it comes to these ISO 222 compliant coins because every single video I'm saying it, I'm saying it over and over because I'm trying to drill it into people's heads that this is something you need to pay attention to. That is supposed to go live in November. And on top of that, the case where the SEC is currently suing Ripple, you know, cost them $100 million in legal fees to try to claim that they're security even though they already cleared them in the Ethereum free pass fees years ago, but whatever. Not the important part. The important part is that is going to come to an end soon. It's looking very, very plausible that we're gonna have the outcome of you know them settling or a Ripple just straight up beating the SEC in the case because the SEC is being ridiculous right now. When that happens, the price of the coin is going to skyrocket. XRP is game changing. This is facts. Denting the universe. Ripple is a company that created XRP, essentially the XRP ledger. Every corporation in the world will want to source crypto liquidity for their business. Think about this, every corporation in the world, one of the main things XRP does is provides on-demand liquidity. They have partnerships or are in some way, shape or form connected to the Federal Reserve, Goldman Sachs, Wells Fargo, Bank of America, MoneyGram, Royal Bank of Canada, R3 Corda, MasterCard, IBM, TravelX Bank, which is the XRP fuel payment service in Brazil. Uh, XRP provided their on-demand liquidity for them in a payment service. This is very, very recent, just happened a few days ago. Colombia has enlisted Ripple to put land deeds on the blockchain, so that's something else. FOMO Pay in Singapore is a partner with uh, Ripple and the XRP Ledger. Cross Tower NFT Marketplace in India. So XRP is working with Cross Tower NFTs to be in the NFT game. Lotus Cars has also partnered with Ripple to bring automotive NFTs to the XRP ledger. I don't even know what that's about, to be honest with you. That's, that's kind of crazy and, and something I just found out. XRP has multiple utilities. It is the bank-to-bank -bank transfer network. It facilitates cross-border payments. It also provides on-demand liquidity, and it is also trying to be the world reserve currency. Ripple just opened a branch slash office in Toronto, also I believe one in Miami. Did I get that right? I may be wrong on the last one. It is on the top 100 fastest growing private companies in America. And we are still early, ladies and gentlemen. We are still early, but if you wait any longer, if you any longer at all, you may be priced out so far, you will not even be able to buy into it. Or they might not even be available on the retail market and it might be only available for ODLs, which is, which is a situation that if you didn't get in now, you'll never be able to get in. You'll never get the gains from this. 
I've seen a bunch of people analyze the market and XRP and the amount of money that's going to be moving through the XRP ledger. And it is almost guaranteed the XRP is going to be over $100 not too long in the not too long future from now. Now they're also claiming it's going to be a thousand, maybe ten thousand dollars per coin, which is crazy. And then there's also people in Ripple claiming that it might be twenty-five to fifty thousand dollars per coin. Now that almost seems impossible, but at the same time, it's not impossible because anybody that comes on here and tries to claim <laughs> that the market cap is a, that the market cap will not allow the coin to go to that price, you need to stop and understand what utility is and the fact that utility outweighs market cap every single time it is a fact. Just stop, just drop that completely. We use market cap to determine something's value early on before it has mass utility, like Ripple's going to. This is gonna, this is gonna be on a whole nother level and you wanna be a part of it right now, 33 cents. Think about where it might be in the future. Former Swift board member leaves to join Ripple, check this out. One of the former board members of Swift, a gentleman named Marcus Treacher, joined our team to run all customer success. And you know, th this was, you know, a former board member from Swift coming over and saying, hey, we, we don't think Swift's going to be necessarily a solution to really unlocking this internet of value. That is huge right there, okay? Swift is currently the bank-to-bank -bank transfer network, but Ripple and the XRP Ledger are looking like they are next in line to replace Swift, or at least be adopted by Swift. I'm officially at 757 subscribers. We've gotten 632 of those this month. So we're, we are growing fast, okay? Pretty fast, at least fast for me. So seriously, thank you for everybody that has been watching my videos, uh, leaving likes, leaving comments. I appreciate it so much. What we need right now, more XRP. And here's Ripple's official Twitter. We are excited to partner with Lotus Cars to help bring automotive NFTs to the XRP ledger. That's, that's pretty interesting right there. Columbia enlists Ripple Labs to put land deeds on blockchain from the Ripple Twitter themselves. That's cool. RippleNet enables TransferGo to integrate with local banks and financial institutions, which can reduce processing times from a day to just minutes. Now, just think about that right there. Think about that. Think about that. That is crazy. The use case for XRP and everything that it's going to be doing is insane. The price of this, this is it's going to go parabolic, and this is something you want to be a part of, I promise you. It's heating up at Ripple. Our engineering team is growing fast and we want you to help build a new tokenized future with us. Check out our open roles, like the senior blockchain software engineer position. As you, This is what I'm talking about. Ripple is hiring right now. They are hiring right now in the bottom of a bear market. Wow. You see this from Ripple and you see a bunch of other projects in the crypto world that are currently going bankrupt and failing and laying off their whole teams. XRP with USDC is the future of currency and payment systems. Yeah, Kevin O'Leary says that. XRP would literally have to be pegged as a four to five digit numerical value in order to facilitate the on-demand liquidity for the entire globe. $10,000 per XRP is literally mathematically needed to facilitate the demands. Market cap is an illusion we set early on to show value in a product. This is facts, guys. This right here is the note I want you to take away from this video, okay? XRP would literally have to be pegged to a four to five digit numerical value in order to facilitate the on-demand liquidity for the entire globe. Even if it gets 75%, even 25%. Because 25% of the globe, that's still $2,500 potentially per XRP. So the fact that you can buy them right now for 33 cents, 33 cents right now, it would be such a shame for you not to at least pick up some of them before whatever's gonna happen here with XRP plays out. The SEC will not win the XRP lawsuit. And here I got a little video of a prediction for the XRP lawsuit. Brian, speaking of Ripple, you worked at Coinbase, you worked in the government, albeit for under a year. So tell us, is XRP a security, yes or no? <laughs> well, you know, these are complicated questions and matters of pending litigation, so who can say? But here, here's what I would tell you, though, which I think is the most important issue about XRP, and that is there is a difference, okay? There's a difference between the way in which an asset is distributed and the nature of the asset at a given moment in time. And I think the issue in Ripple that gets lost in all of the discussion is whatever happened in the original distribution of XRP tokens, you know, 10 years ago, and whether that was or wasn't an unregistered securities offering, that's what the courts will decide. That's a different question from whether XRP today is a security. And the SEC itself has said that assets can change their nature over time as they achieve utility and as they achieve decentralization. So if I had to make a prediction, I'll just make a quick prediction. And that is that there is a settlement to be done here somewhere. And the settlement has to do with the distribution of the tokens so that existing token holders can continue to trade them and find value in them the way that they do. All right, there you go. That's good news for us because no matter what goes on with the case, it's uh, 
XRP when it was originally released is what kind of what they're worried about, not XRP today. So we are going, our coins that we hold are safe, we're safe, we're good to go. Uh, it's just bullish good news for anybody holding XRP. We are gonna be in the new 1% and I cannot wait. Remember guys, we are so early, so early. I mean, granted, XRP is not new. We're not technically early in XRP. We are early in it being adopted as the financial bank-to-bank -bank transfer network, the main go-to for on-demand liquidity. Now that we are early for, but hey guys, there's a lot of other cryptocurrencies out there. Do your due diligence, do your research, figure out what, if you are going to invest, do your research and figure out what you want to invest in, but, but just hear me out. ISO 222 compliant coins you cannot go wrong with. XRP, Quant, XLM, XTC, HBAR, ALGO. You, you cannot go wrong with any of them. IOTA, you just can't. Energy Web Token, that's not ISO compliant, but you get my point. All right, I'm gonna wrap up the video here. If you guys like my videos, leave me a comment, leave a like on the video. It helps me out so much, gets uh, more exposure so we can grow faster. Um, I want to try to hit a thousand subscribers here pretty soon. That would be awesome. I will see you guys in the next video. I'm Cole Joseph. Peace.